Okay, this sermon's entitled, Believing is Enough. I'm, it's getting kind of late, and I'm going to put this on YouTube, and I'm going to try not to be loud. I'm going to try not to yell in this sermon. So it may not be, um, the, the, volume, the volume level it may, not, may not be the same as some of my other sermons. Let me, close, let me open with prayer. Then with a couple verses, all right, dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this. I just pray that you'll allow me to explain what the Bible says on the subject of believing in Jesus Christ as being the only thing we have to do to be saved. Keep us safe, keep us real, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, let me just open up with um, John chapter 12 and verse, verses 10 through 12. But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death, because that by reason of him many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. See that? The only thing they did was believed on him. Okay? On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. The Bible just makes it very clear. The only thing a person has to do to be saved is to believe on Jesus Christ. There are people out there that don't believe this. They think you got to add works, repentance, and all sorts of stuff. It's crazy, and it, it's false, and I'm just going to read verses now. Let me grab my treatise and read what I have at the beginning. And then I'm just going to read a succession of verses, just one after the other. Without any, without any, you know, interruptions, without any, you know, interpolations or whatever. Let me check my, uh, let me check this player, okay. It reads, my treatise, it says, I wrote this a couple days ago. There's a lot of talk in Christian circles about what is required for salvation. Much vain and fruitless argumentation ensues from such a subject. But the Bible makes it crystal clear that what a person has to do to be saved from hell is to simply believe in Jesus. Now, I'm just going to read some verses here. Let me grab this. Uh, okay. It says in John chapter 1, verse 12, <clears throat> But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 3.15, That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.18, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John, John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. John 6.47, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. John 5.24, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that, heareth, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. John 6.40, And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. John 6.35, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. John, um, Acts 16, 30 and 31, and, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. Mark 1, 15, I'm not, that's the one where it talks about repenting. And people are confused about this, so we just go ahead and explain this. Okay, what, is, what, is, what does Mark 1, 15 mean in saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Now let me explain this. It means to stop believing something that is not the gospel and believe the gospel. That's all that means. 1 John 5, 1. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. 1 Thessalonians 4, 14. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Now, I'm, I'm going to pause it and um, do it a little, add a little bit more to this. Just hang on one second. Let me grab this call anyway. All right, now the reason I'm preaching this sermon is I, I think this point needs to be belabored. Now, some people might say, well, you just, it's, an, it's an act of unbelief to have to keep, keep convincing yourself that believing's enough. No. There are people everywhere out there, that, everywhere, ch in churches everywhere, that think there's more, to, there's more to salvation than just believing. The reason I wrote this is because I know there's some, some people at this church up the road here um, Actually, it's a couple miles. It's 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 about seven miles away from where I live. They believe that there's more to salvation than faith alone. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to print this thing out. I wrote this I wrote this treatise called "Believe Believing Believing in Jesus is Enough." I'm going to print a bunch of these out and stick them all over the place so people can see that it, that they're being lied to, that their teacher is a false prophet, a wolf, a liar. That's why I'm preaching this. 
Okay, so here's some more verses. Let me just give you some more verses on this subject. Where it just says, believing is all a person has to do to be saved. Believing in Jesus Christ. And this, all right, let me just... Okay, here we go. I just read 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 14, so let me just go down the list. John 11:40. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. John 11, 25 and 26. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead... Yet shall he live, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? John 7:38. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. First Timothy chapter 1 verse 16. Howbeit for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me first Jesus Christ might shew forth all long suffering, for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Genesis 15:6. And he believed in the Lord. And he counted it to him for righteousness. Romans 4, 5, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Romans 3, 26, To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness, that he might be just, and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Romans 10, 4, For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Ephesians 1, 13, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Now, I'm going to close with, with my um, addendum here. A truly saved person has no problem believing this. Only a mixed up, deceived, prideful person would dare to fight this simple truth. Believing in Jesus for the free gift of eternal life is enough. Call me a liar at the expense of blasphem blasphemously calling God's clear words a lie. Nothing needs to be a added or juxtaposed to John 3.16. It is sufficient in and of itself to get a lost person saved. I have been accused of not repenting, which is not true. I have repented of my sins a hundred times, plus, but not to be saved. Salvation is by faith alone in Christ alone, a one-time moment, momentary act. To God, thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon on just, believe, just believing. Believing is enough. And it has to be this way because your word is very simple very good and, and it's just got to be something that we can all accept we can we accept eternal life by faith alone in Christ alone believing same thing keep us safe keep us real and help us not to fall for the liars out there that want to add works and they want to add repentance and they want to add all this other stuff okay keep us safe keep us real bless us abundantly in Jesus name I pray amen